Hey, how's it going? This is Benjamin. And today I'm going to make a quick tutorial video to show you how you can link your customized domain to your new EMV2 Blog Beast blog. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to Empower Network, log in, and then hover over your name once you log into the back office and click the View Edit My Blog and then your blog will come up like this. So the next thing you want to do is click the plus tab right here and the menu will come up to customize your blog. You're gonna go over to where it says custom domain click that and now it's gonna give you some instructions what you what you need to do at this point is go ahead and click in the space next to the HTTP and type in your domain. So the one we're going to use for this example is Ben Brilliant Recommends com, and it'll show you that it's available. Click the next key, and it'll give you in step two some further instructions. Now, what you need with, to do with this, depending on where your domain is, or if you have one yet, if not, then you want to set up your domain first, but if your domain is on GoDaddy, uh, I'll be able to show you exactly what to do with that. Maybe later I'll make one for Bluehost. But for this example, we'll go over to GoDaddy. We're going to log in. So you're going to click the, the gray button. Uh, type your username and uh, password. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do before you start to uh, assign your domain is you want to come over here and you want to copy this I mean you can type it yourself but it's a lot easier to left hover over it either right click or hit control C right and then just copy it Then take that go over here click domains and uh, click on launch Now, the next step you want to take is to click on the tab that says DNS zone file. And at this point, uh, you're going to scroll down and click on edit. Now, you'll see it highlights, meaning that you're able to edit it. Uh, you want to go down to the option underneath CNAME alias see right there and then click on the little hover over and click on the pencil next to www now in here you want to copy and paste your empower network blog it'll be your username empower dot empower network dot com and uh, I put half an hour uh, and you're gonna click save zone file you are about to modify you want to click OK and now it's going to tell you that the changes usually take an hour it might take 30 minutes it's definitely not going to take two days I mean I guess in extreme circumstance depending on the server load maybe because of just we had this launch but uh, I did one earlier and it took about 30 minutes and once once that's done uh, you can go, like they say over on the blog, go make yourself a coffee and come back. You're going to come back and click this verify custom domain. Now, it's probably not going to go through right now because I just did it. But when you come back in a half an hour, you're going to click that. And, okay, so it's already verified. Perfect. So let's see if it comes up because I don't, I don't believe that it's going to do it. Okay, so it's still assigning it. So you'll have to wait until. Oh, I, I typed the wrong one. Sorry about that. Okay, perfect. So this one went through extremely fast, and now your domain is assigned to uh, your 
your blog is assigned to your custom domain. Now there's one thing that I noticed and that is it doesn't assign the without the www so there's one extra step that you want to go and do uh, you're gonna go back to GoDaddy and you're gonna click on settings now there's a tab here this is the settings tab I clicked and now you click on forwarding and, or go to the forwarding and click on manage and now what you want to do is you want to click on add one now and then here you want to type in www dot whatever your domain is and you can leave that alone you don't have to do any masking because we've already reassigned it and leave this checked and then you're going to click add and what this is going to do is this will make it so if they type in just your website name without the www it will still point at the www this isn't really you don't have to really uh, I don't think you have to worry about this with Bluehost I'm not sure but uh, that's basically all you need to do and it again it usually takes time for it to oh, click to save at the end it usually click takes time for it to update we can check but I, I'm pretty sure I might have to clear my cache but it hasn't updated yet but you want to wait like at least 30 minutes clear your cache and uh, type it and it should be assigned now uh, I'm gonna show you a little uh, trick that I found out the other day um, you can I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna type 99 cent domain and check this out if you go click on the first option I don't know about this 50 cent one but I guess you guys can check that out that's even better uh, you can click this one and pow you can type a domain for example I am the blog beast and you click search now you go ahead and add that to cart now since I'm logged in already it's probably not going to let me take advantage of this deal but we'll check so let's close this I added it and let's go over to the car oops let me try again alright so we click continue to cart alright so it looks like they're gonna let me assign another domain for just 99 cents now I'm not sure if you can do this without creating a new account when I did it I made a completely different account but you can attempt to do it this way and grab yourself an extra domain minus the protection you know and you can see right there it's only 117 so if you're brand new to empower and you don't have your custom domain yet uh, I would highly suggest you do that I'll have a link for this at the bottom or you can just search it and uh, the last thing I'm, I'm gonna uh, advise for you is uh, to create your own custom landing pages it gives you something you know separate you from the pack a little bit and uh, what I use is Bluehost because uh, you can have unlimited, it's like unlimited domains, unlimited space. You know, I notice GoDaddy charges uh, like per web hosting, and it's it's just a, a better option. Plus, I think the starting package package is about six bucks per month uh, with a 12 month period, so it's a great deal. I have a, another link for that at the bottom. Uh, I hope you got a lot of value out this tutorial, and uh, I'll see you online. Feel free to add me as a friend on Facebook, and go get you some traffic. So have a great one.